first race pacers assembled all in behind the starting gate, and uh, here they come. And they're off. Little Hot Shoe driving for the early lead. Sentinel is up on the outside towards the inside is Ideal Arrow with Egyptian Blitz pacing onto the turn, racing forth. Little Hot Shoe pacing to the front. Along the inside is Ideal Arrow racing in second. On the outside, that is Sentinel to take third. Down at the rail, Egyptian Blitz is racing fourth. Rosedale Bingo tugging hard on the bit, racing fifth. King Bo completes the first six, followed by Mandy Mania in seventh, and then it's back to Stephen Robert in eighth, and the trailer is full contact. They straighten up onto the back stretch and up on the outside, that is Sentinel to pacing by to take the lead from Little Hashu. First quarter in 29 and 4, and now they're on to the back stretch. Sentinel, Little Hashu, Ideal Arrow, the top three. Egyptian Blitz racing in fourth. Rose Dio Bingo steps into the passing lane, racing fifth, followed by King Bowen, sixth. Mandy Mania, seventh. Stephen Robert, eighth. And full contact trails the field. They race up the back stretch, and Sentinel still has the lead with Little Hashu racing second, and then Ideal Arrow is third. At the rail, Egyptian Blitz completes the first four. On the outside, Rose Dio Bingo is in closer and following on the overland route is King Bo now into the first six and then it's Mandy Mania in seventh followed by full contact in eighth and Stephen Robert has dropped out in trails they race by the half in 59 and three and now three eighths of a mile still to race and Sentinel leads the way down at the Rio Little Hashu racing second Rosedale Bingo on the outside third along the inside Ideal Arrows racing in fourth King Bo's into the top five at the Rio Egyptian Blitz is shuffled back in six followed by Mandy Mania racing seventh full contact eight Stephen Robert at the rail ninth they're at the top of the home stretch and Sentinel's the first to turn for home and now little Hashu moving closer from second now off the rail ideal arrow is coming home fast now third three quarters of a mile 129 and four they are into the final eighth of a mile Sentinel hands the lead ideal arrows asks for a little more passes little Hashu for the play spot King Bo is racing fourth it's Sentinel who is confidently handled by Dale Heitman and Sentinel is easily the best I Deal arrow second, little Hashu was third, and a King Bow. Second race pacers all in behind the gate. Here they come. And they're off. Getting any bluegrass driving for the early lead. Along the inside, Fox Valley Ecstasy. And up on the outside, that is a silly face also trying for a forward position. It's getting any bluegrass leading around the clubhouse turn. On the outside, a silly face gaining ground quickly to challenge the leader. Fox Valley Ecstasy is at the rail racing in a third. And then it's back to WYSIWYG racing fourth, followed by Tango Bar at the top five. Sam Shu two is racing in six, sending my love, followed by Wasted Energy and Viking Girl can see them all. They're on to the back stretch and leading the way is Silly Face through the opening quarter in 29 and four. And now moving to the outside, getting any bluegrass. At the rail, Fox Valley Ecstasy is racing third, followed by WYSIWYG racing fourth. Tangle Bar is in fifth, moving to the outside, ascending my love, now six. Sam Shu two is down at the rail, racing seventh, followed by Wasted Energy, and Viking Girl is still at the back. They are racing midway up the back stretch, and retaking the lead is getting any bluegrass. Silly Face at the rail, races second, up on the outside, uh, that is Tango Bar into the top three. Sending My Love is into the action, now racing in fourth. Fox Valley Ecstasy is shuffled back in fifth. Sam Shu two is on the outside in sixth. WYSIWYG is shuffled back in seventh. Wasted Energy and Viking Girl continue to trail the field. At the midway point on the turn, the halftime was 59-1, and one, and Tango Bar is challenging, getting any bluegrass. Those two are going at it stride for stride. Sending My Love, ready to tip three wide along the inside. Silly Face is locked in tight, no racing room. Sam Shu two, pacing into the action now, fifth. They're at the top of the home stretch, three quarters and one, 29 and three. And Tango Bar paces by, getting any bluegrass to establish the lead with Sending My Love on 
on the outside now gaining towards the inside silly face and through the center of the track here comes Viking Girl charging hard needs to make up more than seven lengths though with a furlong to go it's sending my love and tango bar their stride for stride Fox Valley Ecstasy is exploiting racing room and here comes Fox Valley Ecstasy but too late sending my love gets up in time Third race pacers are all in behind the starting gate, and uh, here they come. And they're off. Going for the lead is Beppy's Guy, and up on the outside, that is J.A. Revrock, and to the outside, uh, that is uh, Johnny Ringo. They race around the clubhouse turn, and J.A. Revrack pacing to the front of the field. Johnny Ringo's on the outside, pacing by Beppy's Guy, the top three. And Credibux is on the outside, racing in fourth, followed by Fresne Le Buffard, who gets away in fifth. Extemporaneously is in sixth. Go Brian Go, a seventh, and Charity's Gambler trails the field. They straighten up onto the back stretch. There's uh, three quarters of a mile still to race. The first one was clocked in 29 and four. Leading of the way up the back stretch, Johnny Ringo, and now up on the outside, and Credibux drives by to take the front. And Credibux leads the way. Johnny Ringo racing second. Jay Revrack is third. Out of the out to the outside, Le Fresne Le Buffard steps into the first four. Pepe's guy completes the top five. Go Brian Go racing in sixth extemporaneously is seventh and then is back to Cherry's Gambler who trails the field. They're going to the half mile marker and uh, leading the way is Incredibux on top by uh, half a length and now up on the outside racing by Fresne Le Buffard. They race by the half in a minute and one fifth and now they're on to the far turn. Fresne Le Buffard has the lead on top by a length along the inside of Credibux racing second. Go Brian go on the outside third. Down along the rail is uh, Johnny Ringo the first four. Extemporaneously is on the outside racing in fifth. Jay Revrack has been shuffled back in sixth. Charity's Gambler is going the three wide racing seventh, and Pepe's Guy has been shuffled back and now trails the field. Three quarters and 131 flat, and now they're homeward bound, and Fresne Le Buffard has the lead. Go, Brian, go on the outside, gaining ground. Down at the rail, Incredibux is racing in third. Center of the track, Charity's Gambler finishing fast. Into the final eighth of a mile, and Fresne Le Buffard has, still has a two-length cushion. It's Fresne Fresne Le Buffard in front and along the inside in Credibux, the outside charity's gambler, but Fresne Le Buffard is in front. Fourth race pacers assembled behind the starting gate, and uh, here they come. And they're off. Going for the lead, Ramsey Red uh, in between horses along the inside, Lake Hills Bombie, and up on the outside is OG's Bull Yankee. Racing around the clubhouse turn, and OG's Bull Yankee paces by and grabs the lead. Razzy Red settles down into second. Bold Reward up on the outside is third. At the rail is Lake Hills Bobby W. completing the first four, and then it is back to Herman Frisco, the top five. Followed by Little Bird John, and the trailer is Johnny Pestigo. They race around the turn, going to the back stretch, and uh, leading the way is OG's Bull Yankee on top of full length to Razzy Red racing second. Bold Reward completes the top three. Lake Hills Bobby W. steps to the outside and moves after the leaders from fourth and then it's back to Herman Frisco racing in fifth a little bird John is sixth and Johnny Pestigo is seventh and last they race the opening quarter in 29 and one and as they go up the back stretch up on the outside pacing by to take the lead Lake Hills Bobby W OG's Bull Yankee down at the rail is now second Ramsey Red is third bold reward fourth followed by Herman Frisco in fifth little bird John completes the top six and Johnny Pestigo is the trailer halftime 58 and four and now they start around the far turn Lake Hills Bobby W has the 
lead from out of the back, pacing very fast. Little Bird John suddenly appears on the scene, now second. Along the inside, OG's Bull Yankee is trapped, looking for a way out in third. Up on the outside, Herman Frisco is into the action, fourth. Razzy Red shuffled back in fifth. Johnny Pestigo is sixth, and Bold Reward, who had a forward spot, can now see them all. They're at the top of the home stretch, three quarters and one, 29 and three. And as they turn for home, Lake Hills Bobby W hands the lead. On the outside, Little Bird John is challenging, looking for a way out. OG's Bull Yankee now has racing room to the outside, is into third, into the final eighth of a mile and along the inside, Lake Hills, Bobby W. Little Bird John on the outside. Those two are stride for stride. OG's Bull Yankee chiming in late. It's Lake Hills, Bobby W. Holding off Little Bird John. Lake Hills, Bobby W. in front. Fifth race pacers are all in behind the starting gate. And uh, here they come. And they're off. Anxious Flame driving quickly from the outside, going for the lead along the inside. That is Heater Myler. And from in between horses, uh, racing away quickly for the front is just ideal. Shifty Sush down at the rail is away in fourth, and then it is back to H.J. Strike, completing the first five. Along the inside is Flying Michael, now racing in sixth, followed by Let's Go Lou in seventh. And then it's back to Short Cousin in eighth. And the early trailer is uh, Chicago Cub Fan. They race around the turn, going to the back stretch, and leading the way is Anxious Flame on top by a length. Up on the outside is Just Ideal, now racing into second. Heater Myler is in third. And then it's back to Shifty Sush, who races in fourth, followed by H.J. Strike, the first five. Flying Michael completes the top six. Let's go, Lou is racing seventh. Short Cousin is eighth, and the trailer is Chicago Cub Fan. The opening quarter of a mile clocked in 30 and one fifth. And as they race midway up the back stretch, Just Ideal has made the lead. Anxious Flame at the rail racing second. Heater Myler is in third. And then it is back to Shifty Sush, who races in fourth. H.J. Strike is racing fifth. Flying Michael is sixth. And to the outside goes Short Cousin in seventh. Chicago Cub fans following on the outside now racing in eighth. And the trailer is Let's Go Lou. They're halfway home in a minute and three-fifths and now rounding the far turn. The leader is just ideal on top of length. Anxious Flame racing second. And now driving up on the outside is H.J. Strike into the top three. Short Cousin is racing into fourth, just three lengths back of the lead. Down at the rail, looking for a way out. Heater Myler is in fifth. Shifty Sush has been shuffled back into sixth. And then on the outside, just ideal is seventh. They're at the top of the home stretch, and as they make the turn for home, uh, leading the way, just ideal, three-quarters and one. 32 and 4. Up on the outside, H.J. Strike. Along the inside, Anxious Flame. Short Cousin gaining on the extreme outside. Behind a wall of horses, Heater Myler has no racing room. They come to the final 16th, and it is just ideal in front. Short Cousin continues to improve in second. From in between, Anxious Flame. One late rush. Too late, though. Just ideals in front. Anxious Flame was second. Short Cousin finished third. Six race pacers all in behind the starting gate. Here they come. And they're off. And Tambourine Hanover drives for the early lead. Amazon's finale is up on the outside. And on the extreme outside, that is uh, Clarice. They race all around the clubhouse turn, and Amazon's finale has taken the lead. Down at the rail, Tambourine Hanover racing in second. Clarice finds a spot at the rail in third. Virginia Beach is racing in fourth. And then it's back to Kerry Marie, who completes the top five. Krista Ann Q is racing sixth. Fancy Farmer is seventh, and the trailer is Forever Rowan. 
A race around the turn, straighten up onto the back stretch, and leading the way is Amazon's finale on top by a full two lengths. Tambourine Hanover racing in second, and then Clarice along the inside third. To the outside is uh, Carrie Marie pacing quickly into the first four. Virginia Beach completes the top five, followed by Krista Ann Q, Forever Rowan, and the trailer Fancy Farmer. Opening quarter of a mile was clocked in 30 seconds flat, and as they race midway up the back stretch, leading the way, Amazon's finale. Carrie Marie is challenging on the outside, racing in second. Tambourine Hanover is down at the rail in third, followed by Clarice in fourth. To the outside, Forever Rowan steps into the top five. Virginia Beach shuffled back in six. Fancy Farmer is racing in seventh, and Krista Ann Q trails the field. They're rounding the far turn and up to take the lead. That is Amazon's finale and Carrie Marie. They race by the half in 59 and 1, and now they're coming for the top of the home stretch, and Carrie Marie is the leader. Amazon's finale racing second, Forever Rowan is third. To the outside goes Tambourine Hand over the first four, and now they're at the top of the home stretch, and the one to catch is Carrie Marie. Carrie Marie turns for home with a length lead. Forever Rowan on the outside, challenging three quarters and one, 30 and 1. There's an eighth of a mile still to race, and Carrie Marie hands the lead. Here comes Fancy Farmer pacing fast down the center of the track, and Fancy Farmer. Farmer races right on by Carrie Marie to grab the lead. And now Amazon's finale is coming on again in third. Carrie Marie still gain coming back to Fancy Farmer. Fancy Farmer goes off stride. Carrie Marie inherits the win by more than three. Carrie Marie first, close for. Seventh race Pacers all in behind the gate. Here they come. And they're off and Storm Go pacing for the front. Up on the outside is Pee Wee Brown also looking for a forward spot. Free Willings down at the rail away in a third. And then Rock moves over to the rail, completes the first four onto the turn, followed by Bumper Kid who is racing in a fifth. And then it is back to Severe Storm racing in sixth along the inside. King Citation is seventh, followed by Shannon going by who is eighth as they go around the turn to the back stretch. Leading the way is a Pee Wee Brown on top of full length. Lisa's Baker on the outside is off stride. Storm go along the inside now second with Free Willing racing in third. Along the inside, Rack is in fourth. And then it is back to Bumper Kit racing in fifth. Lisa's Baker catches back on the pace and is moving up in sixth. And then it's back to Severe Storm in seventh. Shannon going by is eighth. And now the trailer is King's Citation. They race to the half-mile marker, and it's Pee Wee Brown leading the way. Lisa's Baker moving up on the outside to challenge. The opening quarter was clocked in 30 and two-fifths, and now they race to the half-mile marker. And Pee Wee Brown is tugging hard on Andy Miller. Storm go along the inside race to second. Lisa's Baker continues to be rough-gated as they go to the turn in third. Free Willing is uh, racing in fourth down at the rail. That's Rack in fifth, out and driving his bumper kit now into the first six. And then up on the outside is uh, Shannon going by, moving into seventh. Along the inside, Severe Storm has been shuffled back in eighth, and now the trailer is King Citation. Coming for the top of the home stretch, Pee Wee Brown has the lead. The halftime was clocked in 101 flat. Storm go along the inside, racing second. Bumper kits on the outside third. They're at the top of the home stretch, and as they turn for home, leading the way is Pee Wee Brown. On the outside, Storm Go is there to attack. Bumper kit down the center of the track is down into third. From in between horses, Free Willing is fourth. Into the final eighth of a mile and leading the way, that is Storm Go. On the outside, Bumper Kit, Free Willing is third. Back to fourth and rock, 16th out, and Bumper Kit on the outside, wearing down Storm Go, and Bumper Kit gets up in time. Storm Go trying to last for second over a fast finishing Free Willing. It's Bumper Kit in front. The eighth race trotters are all in behind the starting gate, and uh, here they come.
and they're off. Off and trotting and going for the lead. You know what I mean, Vern. Up on the outside, that is Hishi Rat. And over to the rail is Cooper Randolph. Away in a third. Cash's goals down at the rail, trotting around the turn in fourth. And then it is back to Almahurst Heater, who gets away in fifth. And the early trailer is Jubilee's Do Right. They race around the clubhouse turn and up on the outside, trotting by. Hishi Rat has to claim the lead. You know what I mean, Vern, is trotting in second, followed by Cooper Randolph completing the top three. Cassius Gold races in fourth. Alma Hurst Heater is fifth. And uh, the trailer is Jubilee's Do Right, who trails the field. The opening quarter of a mile clocked in 29 and four. And now they're racing up the back stretch, and Hishi Rat leads the way. Racing second, you know what I mean, Vern. And now Cassius Gold moves up on the outside. And Cassius Gold, trotting very fast, has moved right to the lead. Hishi Rat is racing in second. You know what I mean, Vern is third. To the outside goes Cooper Randolph into the first four. Alma Hurst Teeter is racing in fifth and Jubilee's do right trails the field. The opening quarter of a mile was clocked in 29 and four. Halftime a minute and four fifths. And the leader is the three to five choice Cash's goal on top of full length along the inside uh, trotting in uh, second. Uh, that is uh, Hishi Rat. And up on the outside into third is Cooper Randolph. You know what I mean, Vern along the inside is racing in fourth. Alma Hurst Teeter is on the outside fifth. Jubilee's do right is only five from the lead and trails the field. They're coming for the top of the home stretch and along the inside Cash's goal has the lead alongside Cooper Randolph. They make the turn for home and it's going stride for stride. Cash's goal and Cooper Randolph three quarters and 132 flat. Trotting through the home stretch now and Cash's goal has the lead. Cooper Randolph can offer no more as drop back gaining ground Alma Hurst Teeter on the outside. They race into the final eighth of a mile Allen Cash's goal still has the lead. Alma Hurst Heater is in between horses, and now Jubilee's do right appears on the scene on the outside. And you know what I mean, Vern is coming on again. It's Cash's goal home free. This race is for place. Cash's goal wins easily with something in reserve close for second between Alma Hurst Heater and Jubilee's do right. Ninth race pacers all behind the gate. Here they come. And they're off. Going to the top as she's a classic and along the inside is Western Sand. She's a classic pacing to the front and along the inside Western Sand is uh, taking the turn second. At the rail, Azora's Faith is a third, and then along the inside, Wands Gypsy completes the first four. Sharp Sea Note is racing in fifth, and then it is back to Tarport Imogene racing in sixth, followed by Grapes Peekaboo and BJ Synergy trails the field. Uh, they straighten up onto the back stretch and showing the way is She's a Classic on top by a full length. Western Sand racing second. Azora's Faith completes the top three. Along the inside, Wands Gypsy is racing in fourth. Sharp Sea Note is racing fifth. There's a gap of three lengths back to Tarport Imogene, who is pacing along in sixth, followed by Grapes Peekaboo in the trailer BJ Synergy. They are midway up the back stretch and with a rush, that's Wands Gypsy driving by to grab the lead. First quarter of a mile clocked in 30 and one fifth. Wands Gypsy is now the leader along the outside, gaining ground uh, quickly up to challenge a sharp C note. Along the inside, that is, uh, she's a classic now racing in third. As they go to the far turn, the opening half was clocked in 101 and one. Pacing to the turn and sharp C note has made the front. Wands Gypsy racing in second. Grapes Peekaboo is on the outside in third. And then along the inside, racing in fourth is she's a classic, followed by Western Sand completing the top five. They're coming for the top of the home stretch and leading the way. Sharp C note, Wands Gypsy along the inside. On the outside, Grapes Peekaboo. And then she's a classic locked in tight at the rail is racing in fourth. They're off the turn and straight away for home. Sharp C note, the nine to five favorite, has the lead in the rail. And then up on the outside, uh, gaining ground into second. Uh, that is uh, She's a Classic as they come down to the final eighth of a mile. She's a Classic has taken the lead from Sharp C Note from in between. Wands Gypsy is third down at the rail, Western Sand. It's She's a Classic pacing to the front on the outside, Wands Gypsy. On the inside, Western Sand. Sharp C Note just not doing enough. She's a Classic is in front. And then there's a photo for place between Wands Gypsy and Western Sand.
The 10th race Pacers are all in behind the starting gate, and uh, here they come. And they're off and going off stride. Park Lane Super. Park Lane Super went off stride right at the start. Going for the lead is Broadway Mysticism. Motoring Moe's down at the rail, racing away in second. Onto the turn third is Town Poet. Settling down into fourth is Mr. Benny's. And then it is back to Golden Hope Star, who completes the first five. Moving Man unzipped the top seven. And then far, far back, Park Lane Super, after the mistake at the start, trails the field. They race around the turn, straighten up onto the back stretch, and Motoring Mo now drives by and grabs the lead from Broadway Mysticism in second. Town Poet third, Moving Man's in a hurry on the outside fourth. Mr. Benny's is moving up now, racing in fifth, followed by Golden Hope Star in sixth, and unzipped is the is racing in seventh, and far back the trailer is Park Lane Super. The first quarter of a mile was clocked in 30 and three fifths, and now they are racing midway up the back stretch, and that is Moving Man who has grabbed the lead. Uh, Mr. Benny's is on the outside second, down at the rail, Motoring Mo is third. To the outside goes Golden Hope Star, stepping into the first four. Broadway Mysticism, who led onto the back stretch, has been shuffled back, now racing in fifth. Moving up on the outside side into the first six uh, that is uh, back to unzipped they round the turn coming for the top of the home stretch and up on the outside taking the lead mr benny's the half was clocked in 59 and three mr benny's to the front along the inside is a moving man in second on the outside golden hope stars third down at the rail is motoring mo racing in fourth they round the turn straighten up into the home stretch and along the inside moving man has the lead mr benny's on the outside though is just a head back in second up the rail comes motoring mo into third and coming down the the outside is a Golden Hope Star now racing fourth into the final eighth of a mile and Moving Man has repelled the challenge of Mr. Benny's and now the danger on the outside is Golden Hope Star motoring Mo full of pace locked in tight no racing room for motoring Mo as Moving Man coast under the wire in front Moving Man in front racing second was Golden Hope Star and motoring Mo made a break 